I am going to discuss about how to reverse number in python programming language. So this code that I already written and uh, I discussed uh, how to do the reverse of number with uh, three different ways. So this is the first simplest way reverse number n equal to input enter any integer okay so you should you enter any positive uh, integer and uh, here rev initialize with 0 and this code and if i run this code so here enter the integer so suppose if i enter here 567 so the output is so uh, displaying 765 7 come first here 6 next 5 and if i run this code once again and if i enter 890 obviously 0898 display and uh, 098 that's equal to 98 so that here you can see this is our uh, display 98 so code is uh, working uh, correctly so let's understand this code so here n equal to input enter integer so this or uh, display into the output screen and uh, thereafter another thing is rev equal to 0 so rev initialize with uh, 0 and uh, thereafter another thing Mm -mm. Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss what how to reverse number in python programming language. So I will discuss so uh, that uh, with uh, three different ways to reverse the numbers. The first is, or uh, this is the first way. So let's run this code and check the output first. So enter the integer. So I am going to enter eight uh, 789, so output should display 987 and if i run this so once again so here if i try it here 7890 so it will reverse 0987 that is equal to 987 so 987 it's a display if i run this so we can enter 6777 and uh, you can enter any digit so here i enter a digit number sorry one digit number nine so nine reverse nine only so this is the first way so let's understand this code so this code that i written here so n equal to in input enter the integer so this or display into the output screen and thereafter it's a, a string type so here i'm using int so that convert into integer thereafter here you can see n so suppose here if I enter 78 78 enter here rev value is now here 0 thereafter while n greater than 0 so 78 greater than 0 the condition here it's uh, true so that come inside here rim next is here for rim rim equal to n more 10 so n value is now 78 78 more 10 so remainder that return that is 8 now here after rev equal to rev into 10 so rev into 10 that is so uh, 0 into 10 that is 0 0 plus 8 rim value is 8 that is 8 now this is a division operator so n equal to 78 divide by 10 so it comes 7 so here you can write uh, uh, 7 now while loop that continue on so again that control comes to this point here that again check n greater than 0 7 greater than 0 this condition again true now rem equal to n mod 10 so n value is now 7 mod operator 10 the value come here 7 so it's a remainder return 7 so rim value is now this time 7 here after rib equal to rib into 10 so rib is now 8 8 into 10 plus rim value is now 7 so it come 87 
so here you can write rib value is now 87 there after n so n value is now 7 7 by 10 so here the constant that written 0 so n value is now 0 there after n greater than 0 0 greater than 0 so this condition is false so control comes to this point here print reverse number is and here the format and uh, rib value that display so rib value is now 87 87 it's a display so this is the way the program that work so here you can see rib is now integer tab so by default it accept uh, integer so here you can see rib so uh, this is the uh, literal and here because uh, here n is the integer so that rim is the integer so no need to uh, specify any data that this places and here the rim value is the integer so this the format return of format version of s using substitute with the args kw args inside the bracket so this is the first way let's uh, see another way so the next way using slicing or oh sorry using a string slicing method so num you can enter any number like uh, here's 879 okay and here this is uh, now literals and uh, here this is num literals and if i run this code so that will do the division sorry that will uh, do the reverse of this number so it's uh, enter 7899 so output it's uh, displaying 989987 so index so uh, that uh, start from minus 1 next is minus 2 minus 3 that continue so here if i give the 1 so it will not do any reverse so here you can see the 7899 and if i give the minus so it will print the number with the reverse order so here minus so 1 minus 2 minus 3 so it's so doing the reverse of the number displaying on the reverse wise so this is the uh, string slicing method now the another math important method is the recursion so reverse number using recursion so this is the third way we are we can do the reverse of this number using recursion so let's uh, run this code first and uh, check the output so here entering 897 so here you can see the number it's returning 798 so how is that possible so let's understand this code so n equal to in input so this uh, is meant to the input sorry output is can rib initialize with 0 this is the integer type so here define the function uh, name is func and here pass n so n the value pass global variable that taken rib so global variable declare use anywhere so here you can see if n greater than 0 so n value suppose you if you enter 78 78 greater than 0 so this will continue so let's understand the step of execution of this program so here debug step info so here it's so uh, right now on the output screen so there is nothing because cursor now if you uh, if you uh, press here f11 so let's uh, press here f11 now you can see enter any number suppose if i enter 78 press enter now 78 thereafter rib rib as n value is now accepted 78 integer time rib or uh, that will initialize with uh, 0 so now rib initialize with 0 next uh, define the function so control comes to diff function thereafter that jump to this place uh, on the funks so that uh, start searching where is the f u n c so it will come to this place so f11 now you can see it comes to this place and here this is the memory 
uh, address zero x this all those things and now then the uh, after doing this 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 will start processing the func so inside the func this all those things so here global variable now here it, that can check in greater than zero so let's press here f11 here you can check here n greater than zero so n78 that is greater than zero condition is true so that coincide here rim equal to n mod 10 so n value is now 78 78 mod 10 the remainder return remainder 8 8 will go to rim so here you can see rim value is now 8 so here after rib rib is the 0 now after processing that some values that come inside the rib so here rib also 8 now func so here n mod 10 so n value is now 78 78 mod 10 the value come 7 so here 7 the new value of n is the 7 so here you can see n value is now 7 so after 7 that uh, here rib value is as 8 is there now press f 11 this is 8 here rib is now 8 and uh, this place there n value is now 7 7 divide by 10 the remainder come so sorry the value come 0 thereafter write f11 once again so this time that is 0 now so when that 0 so that to work that is not true if or uh, this condition is not true that's out for the if part and here that's the return rib rib value is now 87 87 that return after that to uh, function call itself that is the reverse and here it's now rib value is now 8 and this time function call itself so that's uh, new value here n is the 7 now next is new value of n is the 78 after 78 printing the value sorry coming the value now that uh, rib equal to 78 also there now n is now 78 and here you can see this is 87 okay so here now rib value is now 87 so what the value that i enter 78 and here rib value after processing it's now 87 and this 87 that will print so now control comes to this one reverse number here so this is the percent d so percent d plus header for integer and here rib value 87 that's the display now it's so uh, done there and here you can see press any key to continue so this is the way we can here or uh, see uh, steps info how is the program that work so percent d is the percept uh, placeholder d is for the numeric decimal values so this is the third way we can here or uh, we can uh, print to reverse number so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you